Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, I know that you're stuck at home right now, at least most of you, and uh, I decided to share a cool Excel feature that uh, recently I noticed that a lot of people don't know about it. So imagine the situation when uh, you're budgeting, you're forecasting your next uh, year's uh, performance and uh, you ask the sales department for a sales plan for the next year, the next month, the next uh, quarter, it doesn't matter. And uh, they give you one, but um, usually what they do is um, they'll start off from uh, confirmed orders, add what they expect that uh, different plans are gonna get, or they can use, they can sometimes use uh, forecasts provided by the, the clients of what they plan to sell, so what they're gonna buy from us. Um, and uh, sometimes they will just uh, under promise so that they can easily reach it and get their bonuses etc or sometimes they can be over optimistic in their own skills and give you like a huge number so what I'd like to do is perform at least a simple reasonability check and uh, to do that we can use Excel's uh, forecast sheet function which is gonna take our historical sales and uh, see if our uh, sales plan falls within a reasonable um, amounts. Okay, let's open Excel. Okay, let's get started. I have my uh, financial summary for 2016 to 2020 for Acme Limited Corporation. It's a made up uh, financial statement. And I also have my sales breakdown for 2021 for my budget. And I wanna see if this number 645 million is a reasonable estimation for my sales. What we can do here for just like a, a really simple reasonability check is use Excel's forecast sheet functionality. Okay, so let's go into the options and my timeline range is gonna be my years over here, values range is gonna be my sales. Okay, and uh, okay, let's add three years. And uh, confidence interval of 95% is okay. Just hit create, you don't need to, to fiddle with any other uh, settings. And it's gonna create a new sheet for you where you get a chart second to zoom it in a bit so what we get here is uh, we have our values in our timeline so those are our sales we have our forecast for the next three years our lower confidence bound and our upper confidence bound this is the 95 percent confidence that we employ what we can do here now is for our sixth period we can just put in our uh, total sales from our plan and we can see that they get plotted immediately here. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit above the forecast. So maybe our uh, our sales plan is a bit optimistic, but it's still within the confidence bound and our sales have been quite bumpy. We had a tough year last year. So uh, it's, it's reasonable. A good idea to make some reasonability checks. And I think that Excel's uh, forecast sheet is a really easy and fast way to just see where, where your forecast is standing uh, compared to like simple statistical uh, analysis of your historical data. Okay, that's Excel's forecast sheet functionality. It's a robust and a really easy to implement uh, statistical uh, way to to, um, to add a bit more depth into your analysis and into your forecast. You can use it to check uh, not only sales, you can use it to like perform reasonability checks on pretty much any kind of forecast. I hope uh, this was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, stay safe, stay at home, and see you next time. Your uh, models and your uh, budgets, and um, well, we don't always do that. Uh, we are not really into statistics, I guess. Okay, guys, uh, that was it. I really hope you enjoyed it uh, below. Okay, guys, so that's it. Just a really simple. Okay, that's.